Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Gran Turismo 3, the ultimate driving simulator, and off-screen, I went back and read the comments of uh, the people that were asking me to uh, buy the racing tires, and the ones that I went with, uh, just so we are on the page that is the same in this book, is I decided to go with uh, medium. It's kind of a... Happy medium, if you will. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is we're going to go and take on the last part of these rally events so that we can have them out of the way, and it'll be good. And I think that we've got a pretty good chance at, uh, at winning this thing, because I also got that turbo kit really going to make a big difference as far as our ability to uh, especially catch up in that long straightaway. That'll be good. So let's do it. Let's do the damn thing. Five laps, too. So it'll give me a little bit of time to, you know, gather my sea legs on this a little. Let's see how well we can keep up with him now. Yeah, he still gets... He still gets a little bit of a lead there. But it's not as significant. Which is always a good thing. Hey, look at that! We can actually take corners a little bit now. Holy smokes! The world is a great place. <laughs> Why didn't I do this earlier? We, we'd have so many extra races that we wouldn't have to go back and deal with had I got these damn things first. But hey, you know what? What, do you, what the hell are you going to do? What in the hell are you going to do? I mean, it doesn't matter necessarily that I have all these things if I, you know, don't perform up to par. So let's just make sure that we do this damn thing the right way. <laughs> and that we don't totally fuck it up in the worst possible way. One thing that I should really look into doing for this car is really improving the uh, the brakes. I should probably get that brake controller at some point with this vehicle. I, I mean, I'm not going to worry about it right now because we're, we're hanging. We're, we're holding serve. Barely. Uh, but we are we are definitely doing what we need to do. And that that is good. And the best part is we're going to get some nice money out of it. We're going to get some compensatory benefit out of this whole deal and we're gonna be able to get a couple of nice cars out of it too I believe which will be great are we gonna keep all of them I don't know and people really <laughs> people really got pissed when I sold that uh, that Celica one <laughs> it's really funny they're just like damn it Adam how dare you damn you to hell how could you do such a thing it's like well you know I really needed the money and, uh, you know, I mean, was it the smartest move in the world? No. But, you know, me totally G'ing up this, uh, this Lancer from the feet up really had its benefits, too. So, you know, let's, let's not act like it was, let's not act like, you know, it was, it was the worst thing in the world. I mean, Hitler did still kill a lot of people, so let's, let's not put my selling a Toyota Celica rally vehicle up in that area. You know, I now have a message on Facebook! Oh, shit. Ugh, it happened again, man. It, it really happened again. Luckily, I was able to impede his progress, too. <laughs> so it wasn't all bad. But still, man, that was that was not good. Okay, this is getting this is getting a little off the rails here. We're okay, though. That actually really stopped him. I did not think that was going to mess him up like that. Yikes. P.S. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to talk about this last night, but I totally forgot. And so I ended up having kind of a weird, semi-awkward, you know, span of about six minutes where I was just, like, super into the zone and not talking about anything. I was going to tell you what happened to me the other night when I was uh, when I was driving home from Matt's house. It was super weird. I have come to find out that I am having, like, more and more kind of strange encounters out on the road that, you know, that kind of leads up to his house. It is a... that is a very strange thing. And I think... And I don't think this necessarily had anything to do with it. His car is faster than mine. That's interesting to know. So, so much for me, you know, building up a lead in that in that particular area, for that is not going to happen. However, in those other races that were, uh, you know, that we got totally just blitzed on uh, by that Razo Silvia, should be able to have enough to handle that, you know, effectively. So I'm pretty excited about that. Anywho. 
Uh, I was listening to, you know, m one of my new favorite podcasts, the uh, Beyond the Darkness podcast, and you know how they say that, like, listening to stuff like that kind of, like, opens you up to, you know, having potential encounters with things? Because, like, it's it's in your head now. Uh, like, and it's weird, because this, this wasn't even anything paranormal at all, but it was still strange. And so, you know, I'm, I'm going to, I'm not going to say that this necessarily contributed to it, but it was just weird that... You know, on nights that I'm not listening to stuff like that when I'm driving home, I don't deal with anything weird. <laughs> and the night that I did, I did. So, remember, I think it was like a month ago, I had told you guys a story about... It was on my birthday, actually. I was, uh, I was leaving his house, and there was like the weird guy that... He was just like walking down the road at like 3 in the morning, and he had like a very kind of nondescript face, like you almost couldn't even tell. And... I think I said something about him wearing a mask, and it was super creepy. So, this was vaguely similar to that type of encounter. This is not good. Oh my god, he is a fast man. Yikes. Okay, so we're really going to have to employ that tactic at least another two times. Why is he so much faster than me right there? Good lord. Um, anywho. So, I think it was about, I think it was about three in the morning again. Oh boy, the witching hour. And I'm driving down this same road, and I'm, I'm listening to uh, to the podcast about, like, finding ways to, you know, expel demons and ghosts and what have you. A very interesting uh, listen, by the way. And uh, I'm driving down the road, and I see, I see like, this, this single solitary light just kind of bobbing around in the darkness, kind of out in the distance. I was like, well, this is kind of, this is kind of strange. Like, I wonder what this is all about. And as I'm, as I'm approaching it, hold on, I gotta, I gotta execute this this uh, maneuver real quick here uh, cool cool oh boy oh boy a little bit too much of that ooh ooh he got it he got it pretty rough right there that's good we needed that a little extra Michael Buffer there so I see like this little individual light kind of bumping around and like out in the distance and uh, I was like well that's really weird I guess I'm gonna figure out what it is in a minute and so I end up, oh boy, that's not good. That was not the best way to take that corner at all. And now he's going to be like right on my ass. I just can't let him, I can't let him get in front of me. No! Damn it! Oh, that's really bad. That is really bad. He is going to really distance himself right here. Um, and so I get closer to this guy. And I find out that at 3 in the morning, it's a guy that's just, like, jogging down the road. But the weird part of this is what is what comes up next. Is, so, I I drive by, and I'm only going, you know, about, about 40 miles an hour. And I drive by this guy, and, like, right as I pass him, he, like, totally stops dead in his tracks. And, uh, and then all of a sudden, he just turns around, like, right as I pass him. Because I'm getting like really close to the little street that I turn off of uh, to go towards the freeway, and so I uh, and so as soon as I pass him and I start slowing down to get you know uh, to get onto this extra street, he turns around and just starts running at me full bore. Like it's it, it was it was so weird because it was literally the very second that I that I passed him, he just turned around and started running at me, and I was like, what the hell's going on? Like, what the hell? Why is he running at me? What the hell did I do? And, and so, I just, and like, then he started screaming at me. And at that moment, like, my adrenaline just kicked all the way in. I was like, what in the hell is up with this guy? Like, what did I do to, like, you know, to trigger him like that? You know? Okay. This is a very sensitive turn. Cannot allow him to get ahead. Cannot allow him to get ahead. Oh, boy. We're gonna play a nice little game of chicken right here. I'm not letting you beat me. I'm not gonna let you! You can't have it! No! 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 Yes! <laughs> God! <laughs> man, that was a frustrating race. Good God, man. <laughs> oh, that was entertaining, though. Sheesh. Whew. Kind of reminds me of that race we had a long time ago where I was trying to fend a guy off and I totally spun out and and absolutely blew it. But hey, you know, we got it. We got 20 grand. We 
finished off that challenge, and we're gonna get a car out of it, I believe. And so, he just starts sprinting at me, it was so creepy, it was absolutely terrifying. And, at that moment, I just decided to slam on the gas and I took off, like, I wanted nothing to do with whatever it was that he was trying to, like, I don't know why he would do that. Like, I don't know if, if he was legitimately gonna try to kill me, or if he was trying to flag me down for something totally innocent or something, but, like, I couldn't tell what he was yelling at me because I had, you know, my stereo on, and so I really, you know, had no clue one way or the other. But it was, it was so, it was so uncomfortable. Because, <laughs> I mean, at three in the morning, you kind of already have a little bit of that heightened, you know, you're kind of, you're already like a little bit on edge when you see people just out at three in the morning, especially out in the middle of nowhere. And then just the moment that you pass them, they just totally freak the hell out and start like turning and running at you and yelling. It's just it's so weird. I have no earthly idea what any of that was all about. This one could be interesting here because I'm not as familiar with, uh, with going this direction in this race. So I don't really know how, how well this one's gonna go, if it even goes well at all. I mean, I feel like we've got a little bit more of an advantage here with this one. I don't know. I don't know if the uh, if the Impreza is better or worse than the uh, than the Lancer. I guess we're gonna find out. But this is gonna be tough. Oh God! Oh, okay. That didn't really work out the way I wanted. Huh. So we're still gonna be able to use that that tactic. Oh, ooh, okay. Still didn't necessarily knock him out the way I wanted to, but you know what? As long as I know that that works and we can use that regularly to kind of, you know, get a little bit more space, I will take that every time. Trying to figure out how to operate in this area, though, is going to be very important. Yep, this is going to be the, yeah, that's the one turn that we've got to really, you know, figure out how to break well in. Other than that, I think we're okay. We're actually maintaining a decent lead on him right now. For now, at least, until I ultimately end up totally screwing that up at some point. Okay, let's see if he's... let's see how much faster than me he is. If at all. Oh, I forgot, we don't really have a lot of space there. Yeah, that's right. The other direction is where we have the long straightaway. Not so much here, and it doesn't look like he's really necessarily faster than us at all. It didn't look like he was really gaining a lot of ground there, which I'm totally cool with. So yeah, dude, it was a really, that was a really strange thing. Um, I just, I was so on edge the rest of the way home because in my neighborhood, there's generally, you know, every once in a while there's there's people out kind of wandering around because there's a, uh, you know, there's like a McDonald's over here and, and uh, there's like a little mini mart. And so you always kind of end up finding people just sort of floating around and uh, very uncomfortable when that happens. And so I was, I was so much less comfortable um, you know, when I saw those people after what I had already dealt with, I was just like readily expecting them to uh, essentially, you know, try to make a pass at me like the other person had. And it was, oh man, I was, I couldn't have gotten home soon enough. And I was so paranoid when I got home that there was going to be somebody, like I, I legitimately thought that there was going to be somebody like hiding in my yard, just like waiting for an opportunity to like try to run and like get under my garage door as it was closing to try to kill me like my mind really went that far away with itself just from this one situation <laughs> it was it was highly highly not tight at all so yeah what are you gonna do though okay well, we made it through two laps and we're we're hanging in there yeah only a half second buffer though that's not quite what I'm looking for but this is fine. This is fine. Man, I really should have got that brake controller. It's so hard to slow down in that one spot right there. It's okay, though. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah! Ah! That's a tough, that's a tough turn to do right there. Especially at low speed like I decided to go through that. That was not great. 
don't know if I'm going to be able to... <laughs> okay, let's see if I can... Yeah, see, like, unlike the first lap, I've not been able to really hit him as hard as I did, you know, with, uh, you know, in the, in the very first lap where I really, you know, slammed him pretty good. And now he's kind of building up a lead here. This is not good. This is what I was trying to avoid. This is really what I was trying to avoid at all costs, essentially. But... Sometimes all you gotta do is that. <laughs> it really, like, you have. There's still you still have to do this in a pretty calculated manner. But every once in a while, in in races like this, it kind of pays off to drive a little erratically. Oh shit! Oh no, you don't. Oh no. Ugh. All right, this is a situation that I did not want to get into. Luckily, I know that he's going to slam on the brakes up here when, when this turn comes up. Oh boy, am I going to send you right square into purgatory? Hey, all right. Cool. He's a lot more conservative going into that turn than I am. Oh boy. Oh god. Ugh. Still have not really figured out how to do that <laughs> that particular corner just yet, but you know it's a, it's a learning process. I don't think there's going to be another situation where I'm going to be doing uh, you know this track in the rain, at least not as far as I can remember. All right, that is just straight up not working, not not at all. However. As long as we can just keep him right here, that's all that matters. Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of doing what I did last episode, and I'm really in the zone right here. I just don't want to, I don't want to go through this race and end up losing it at the very last second. That would be, that would suck so bad. And so I'm really trying to make sure that we pull this off. Uh-huh. Yep. Slam right into me. Thank you. Thank you much. Okay. Last lap. <laughs> Reminds me of, uh, there was an arcade game called, uh, I think it was called, like, 4x4, four four, like, it was like, four, it was like four wheeling road riot or something like that. I don't remember the exact name of it. But whenever you would get on the last lap of, of that game for a race, uh, you just, you have, like, the, the announcer's voice, and his voice was, uh, I don't know, there's something about it that I like, but he always goes, Last lap! <laughs> and then uh, the music would, would kick in for, you know, the last lap theme. And it was just so kind of dorky. Like, it would just go... <laughs> it just, uh, it, it sounded, like, so just weird and, I don't know, like, not very good. The game itself was fun, though. Like, it used to be in the, it used to be for a while, it was in, like, the free section at Wonderland. Which, dude, I miss that about arcades. Being able to have a section of free games to play. Like, you go in there and they had games like Super High Impact. And and uh, they had games like... Uh, they had uh, that Road Riot game that I was talking about. And uh, they had, like, The Simpsons Arcade was in the free section for a while. And, and they had, like, Die Hard Arcade for a little while was in that, was in that section. And it was super fun. Like, they still had, you know, their, their coin op section. Which was, you know pretty much like 99% of the of the room but they had just like this little corner where they had free games for you know that way if if uh, you know you're like playing with your friends and and you run out of you run out of nickels but they don't uh, you know you still have something that you can play especially if they're going to be assholes and not give you any of theirs which hey I totally understand uh, it it happens sometimes so at least it was cool that they had something like that that you know it keeps you in there longer so, uh, yeah, I love that sort of thing. All right, well, we won both of those. That is exactly what we wanted to do in this. They weren't easy, but they, it, was, it was a nice challenge, and uh, it was good. I liked that. Those were, those were fun. Those were a lot more fun that way than me really being behind the, behind the eight ball for the majority of that, really trying to, like, scrape that thing out. I mean, it was, that was a much more even thing. Hey, 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 we got that guy. Super down with that. 
Cool. So I'm going, this is probably going to be a stupid statement, but, or actually a stupid question. I would assume that as far as in like endurance races where they say normal car only, I'm going to readily assume that uh, rally cars uh, do not constitute as a normal car. Something just tells me that. And Xara, I do kind of like, I like the look of it. I don't like how it, it really just kind of cuts off in the back. Like it doesn't, it feels like the car isn't as long as it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Like wait until it comes back around again. Like it looks, it looks great, looks great, looks great. And then it just like, it's so short in the back. Like that's the only thing about it that I don't like. Otherwise, that'd be really, really cool looking. I still love it. I, I think it, I just think it's still a really nice car. And then we got, then we got the baby. Ooh, oh boy, do I love that thing. We'll, uh, we'll fool around with those two later. For now, we don't necessarily need to deal with it. Also, did that help our win percentage go up at all? It's still at 82. Oh God, we've, we've lost 15 races. That is not good. That is not good at all. All right, guys. Well, this is what we're going to do. We are now done with that little section for a little bit. We'll, we'll go back into it later. What we're going to do for uh, for the next maybe episode or two is we've got to go back. We've got to go back into the GT World Championship because there's four races that I need to, you know, fix up. I can't have, you know, those giant discolored blemishes being in there to uh, take away from the lovely jaundice yellow gold trophies that we've got. We've, we've got to have uniformity in there, so when we come back next time, we're going to head back in there and we're going to win those races individually so that we can have all golds in them. So until then, my friends, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Take care.